What's going on guys, Show us FM here, taking a look at a triple dark team in the Season 9 Halloween Cup. Guys, the Halloween Cup is finally here. I've been waiting for this cup for a long time. I loved this cup last year and I was really excited for it again this year. So I definitely had some spice to try out first. For my first few sets, I ran some extra spicy teams and then I actually kind of toned it down with this uh, triple dark team. This was, this was less spicy because this team actually makes a lot of sense. The coverage on it is actually really, really good. Just despite the fact that all three Pokemons share that dark timing. That's because of, you know, the wireless takes a lot of super effective damage from the things dark types normally take super effective damage from, you know, charmers, um, fighters, things like that. But the other two have the poison subtyping, which helps them resist the charmers or takes neutral from charmers and neutral from fighting. Um, and it can actually do super effective to the charmers. Um, neutral to fighting so they're really good answers to the things that Zwilus is normally weak to so we're going to be jumping on into some of these battles um, you can see Zwilus was able to take out the Beedrill no problem uh, able to get the Drakalji pretty low as well in the back they have a fortress I do have to watch out for the earthquake here but I swapped to my shadow drapeon just because I know that I can get to these crunches very quickly and they actually no shield the first one which kind of blew my mind I was like you, you really don't want to protect this thing okay so I'm going to shield up the first one. It is the mirror shot. They get the attack drop and oh my goodness, that farm down was brutal, but we do get the farm down before they get to the earthquake. Now I can throw this crunch into the Dragalge, get the shield, we get the defense drop. Can I fast move down? No, because they do have energy enough to throw this Aqua Tail. They're close to a second one. Can I poison jab it down with my muck? Yes, I'm able to. That's going to be a GG's well played to my opponent. All right, guys, jumping on into battle number two, going to have Zwilus up against a Jellicent lead. So that's a great lead. I mean, that's pretty good for my entire team. Going to be staying in here. I do have to watch out for the potential Ice Beam. It would not one shot, but it would do a lot of damage. So I decide I am going to throw up a shield here. Since they're staying in, I'm like, they must have Ice Beam. No, of course, it's a Bubble Beam bait. They're going to be swapping out into Warm and Damp trash which i don't have a great answer for this um i think so why this is my best answer because we are going to be double resisting the confusions of course taking super effective from the bug type charge moves but they don't get to them very quickly and we can at least hit them for neutral with these dark pulses so they actually no shield and then i catch on my shadow drapeon so this bug buzz will hit for neutral instead of hitting for super effective which is really nice and i'm going to commit to the farm down again trying to farm down a steel type not an easy task for Drapion, but we do get there. We have a lot of energy. Let's see what they're going to be coming in with next. They're going to be coming in with Amandava. So I, I did make a misclick here. I went for the crunch instead of the sludge bomb, but it's okay because you're going to see I was only going to get to two attacks. I wasn't going to get to two sludge bombs either way. Uh, so the energy worked out. It's basically like I was trying to get the defense drop and then go for the sludge bomb. So it worked out for me, uh, but definitely, of course, not the right move. Going to be coming back in with Zwilus now. They are going to be throwing an aerial ace here of course aerial aces all mandibuzz really can throw at these dark types so that's not a bad thing and then they decide to swap back into jellison i'm like hey i'm close to my dark bulls i'm going to go ahead and stay in here and throw the dark bulls they're going to hit me with another another bubble beam not a big deal i know they don't have ice beam now so there was no reason for me to swap and I'm going for the Dark Pulse. Do they shield up the Dark Pulse? Yes, they do. So they are down to one shield. I'm going to stay in, force them to throw because these Dragon Breaths are definitely adding up. I don't think they could have hexed them down. It would have been pretty close. They, they should have tried to, but I don't think they would have been able to. So I'm going to come in with Muck now. They are going to be able to reach a Bubble Beam just barely because of course the Poison Jabs are resisted since Jellicent is a Ghost type, but that's fine. Just a Bubble Beam, nothing really to be worried about. I have a Acid Spray ready to go to throw into this Mandibuzz. They're gonna know it's an Acid Spray, but they're so low health, like, I don't know. I guess they should have shielded that anyways. Anyway, I don't have to shield anything. All they can throw at me is Aerial Ace. I think they knew the game was over those because they just throw the foul play. They're like just messing around now. Um, and that's going to be a GG's well played to my opponent. All right, guys, jumping on into game number three. Um, a little bit. Oh, I guess I had some cue times. Um, yeah, but we're going to be jumping on into this. Um, I think I had one loss in this in this set. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is probably it with the Frost Eslead. So Frost 
is a tricky lead. Yes, we have Triple Dark, which is, you know, supposed to be good against Ghost, but Frost Lassen's Avalanche still hits very hard, and it's why this, of course, takes super effective from it. So we go for the Crunch, we get the Defense Drop, which is great, and it seems like they're staying in, so I'm like, hey... If I can handle this process here, that's perfect. But then they do swap out into their own Drapion. So I'm going for the Sledge Bomb. Sledge Bomb is slightly more energy efficient. I mean, just slightly, uh, but it does do more damage. So two Sledge Bombs should KO, whereas two Crunches would not. So that's why I went Sledge Bomb. They're going for the Crunch instead. They do get the Defense Drop, which is a little bit unfortunate. And then I go for the Crunch here, thinking that they were low enough at this point that Crunch would KO. But... No, it doesn't. So I should have just gone for another Sledge Bomb because now I have to let my Drapion go. I don't get the switch advantage that I wanted. I just, I don't know. I really thought that Crunch was going to be enough there. A little bit unfortunate. I come in with my Alolan Muck to get ahead on energy and they are going to be coming in with a Shadow Tyranitar. I've been seeing a few of these already. That's a really cool pick. I'm surprised I'm seeing so many running Smackdown too. Like, isn't Smackdown Legacy? Am I wrong? Um, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about that. I think it's Legacy. You have to use an Elite TM to get it. Um, so, very surprising to me, but hey. They're, they're out there. So they they easily take out my Zwilus. I go straight for the Dark Pulse because I didn't want that Frost Lass to get to another Avalanche. But that's a mistake because these Smackdowns are just tearing through my Alolan Muck. I go ahead and throw up a shield to shield up this Crunch. They don't get the Defense Drop, but I mean, this game's just over. So I can go for the Acid Spray here. They don't even have to shield this if they don't want to. They do, but yeah. I mean, these Poison Jabs are just not going to take out this Shadow Tyranitar. They're easily going to take me out and that's going to be a GG's. Well played to my opponent. All right, guys, jumping on into battle number four. Zwilus up against a Mawile. So this is a little bit tricky. I'm like, you know, they're going to be running Fire Fang, so I'm going to stay in since I'll be resisting it. But no, they're running Ice Fang. So it's like, it, it takes a pretty bad matchup and makes it even worse. Um, I didn't really want to bring in one of my poison types since... They are also resisting the poison type move, but I guess you think about it like they're fairy and steel, so they are triple resisting dragon breath. So that's not, yeah, I should have just swapped anyways is my point. I do land the sledge bomb going for the uh, crunch here. Let's see if this gets a shield. It does get a shield, so at least I'm going to be coming out of this with shield advantage. Do I get to another crunch? We do. So hey, this actually is not so bad. Let's see if I get a second shield here. Oh, they actually caught on a Grimer. Wow, what a, what a cool pick. Uh, I'm going to be coming back in with my Zwilus at this point. I don't want them to get to a move, so I do throw the Body Slam here. Let's see if they want to shield this to get off their move or if they are going to let this go. They do decide to let it go. Doesn't quite KO, but the Dragon Breaths go through anyways. And now I'm ready to swap into my Alolan Muck to answer for that Mawile, but... Oh yeah, so there's the Mawile. We actually catch right here. I'm like, man, I hope this isn't like a big move. No, it's just a power up punch. So not a big deal. Going to be committing to the farm down here. They do get to another power up punch. I'm like, ooh, I don't know. Like, I'm like half health. Should I shield this? Decide not to shield. And I am able to get the farm down, but I'm in the yellow. So in the back, they have a Dragalge. So I'm going to go straight for the Dark Pulse here. I need this to land. Yes, it lands. Can I get to another move? I really got to get this shield off of them as well. I'm not going to be able to make it to the Dark Pulse. Going for the Acid Spray. Please, man. I need the shield to be able to win this game. And they give me the shield. Let's go. Okay, so these Dragon Breaths are going to be doing a lot more. Going to be shielding this up. I'm going to be trying to get to the Body Slam. Can I make it? Let's find out. No, we don't even need it, actually. After the Acid Spray, we're able to Dragon Breath down. That's a GG's. Well played to my opponent. The Dragon Breaths just did too much whenever their defense was dropped. All right, into the final battle up against a pretty tough lead with... Uh, well, yeah, and hello game. Like, let me switch out. I don't know what that was. Um, so they answer my Drapion with a Mawile, this time actually running Fire Fang, not Ice Fang, and I go straight for the Sludge Bomb. It lands, does a lot of damage. I mean, Shadow Mawile is just made of glass anyways, and I'm not going to show anything here. It's just the Power Up Punch. Can I still make it to the Crunch? I can, so we should get Shield Advantage here. I don't think we're going to make it to a second Crunch this time, unfortunately, but hey, we got one Shield off of them, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm just a little bit short of the second Crunch. I'm going to come back in with Zwilus. Yeah, the Dragon Breaths are triple resisted. Um, but I think we got the defense drop on that crunch. So I'm going to be committing to the farm down. Here's another power punch, boosted power punch. But we just used Zwilus as a damage sponge. And we're going to be coming in with Alolan Muck at this point. Alolan Muck, 
up against a warm and damn trash so again we are resisting their fast move they are resisting our double resisting our fast move but we can go for the dark pulse here dark pulse does put them at about half health so that's not too bad i know they're going to want to keep their azumarill away from this alone mux so i'm like maybe i should start baiting at this point you know save some energy um yeah and y'all are gonna see why i'm normally team never bait right here because they are going to call the bait and that acid spray does absolutely nothing so i'm, I'm i built up to the dark post i'm like okay this time they got a shield right they have to shield yeah no no shield oh boy okay all right so i have to shield this up i know that that azumarill has just a little bit of energy not too much I'm going to try to poison jab all the way down. Should be able to do it before they get to another move. I am. And now I can throw an acid spray into this Azumarill. I want to do as much poison jab damage as possible into this Azumarill. You can see they are tearing through the Azumarill. Considering how bulky Azumarill is, that's pretty good. And I'm going for another poison jab. So let's see what happens here. We do get the shield and they CMP tied me. So they are dumping their energy right here. I have a chance of winning this. Coming in with Zwilus, they undercharged that Ice Beam to try to get some farm there. That was like a really good play by them. But I was ready to swap out. Go for the Body Slam. Almost KOs the Zoom Roll. One more Dragon Breath will do it. And that's going to be a GG's. Well played to my opponent. Able to overcome the Zoom Roll lead. You'll love to see it. Yeah, so there it is, guys. 4-1 set. Let me know what you thought of this team in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like. Uh, thank y'all for watching, and until next time, this is Chill SFM reminding you to always keep pushing forward.